Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Witnessed. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the fall of the tablet. So the idea was very simple. It's going to be a replacement for laptop. You're going to have your laptop and you're just going to have this bottom part removed. And it's going to be the next big thing after smartphone. So as we all know, smartphone changed the world. Tablet supposed to do the next thing. So it had a very great start. The moment in 2010, Steve Jobs announced this, it was like everywhere. The hype around it was unbelievable. Like people actually bought the idea that this is the thing. This is what we're going to use in our future. This is we. This is going to replace books. This is going to replace our notebooks. And like, you know, this is one device that can do it all. And it had a very great response. It's not that it just had hype. Like people actually bought a lot of uh, I original iPod. Uh, iPad was sold so suffice to say they had a lot of hype and they had a very great response from public and not only that even Samsung released their own uh, tablets and that also was received quite well so suffice to say they had a very great start but it was quickly turned into a fade out basically it's just forgotten like the reason for that was like it's just a big mobile phone this is a meme but practically speaking that's absolutely true many of the tablets were using components that's actually a mobile component all they were changing was the, making a screen bigger and uh, you know placing a bigger battery so in reality it was just a big phone and you couldn't actually be productive on it laptops have been like you know quite time tested at this point at the time of this thing laptops are 50 years old so they have been tested and have, you know box worked out and all that and they are quite productive heck uh, you can get quite a powerful laptop and you can do you know video editing and all things like that but this uh, tablet like their recent tablet have the new feature you have multi window like ipad pro has multi window function like that's the new thing for them so suffice to say the productivity wise it did not stay relevant and there are still a lot of ipods uh, uh, pardon me ipads are sold however all they are is just like you know a gimmick tool basically you have it in your background you buy every three or four years or like you know you just bought it one time and then you are like eh, i'm not gonna buy again it's not it did not catch on like smartphone where you are replacing it every year or every two years so it faded out now the core reason for that fade out was the underperforming of the system. Now sales of both Apple and Android tablets were dropping at roughly around 5% per year per year. Basically you lost 5% of this year then next year you also lost 5 years so suffice to say financially even Apple wasn't like you know making big bucks that they hoped. And the reason for that is simply twofold. It lacks the actual PC hardware. Like it does not have the processor, the RAM capacity. Heck, like at the time of uh, release, you could have easily bought a laptop that had 500 gigabytes of space, but a tablet of the same cost will barely give you 32 gigabytes. So suffice to say, lack of PC hardware, PC grade hardware basically, where you have actual capacity, where you have actual amount of RAM, it wasn't like cutting it and then on top of that the lack of actual desktop grade softwares like uh, the photoshop you got on that is was like you know very low cut and you can easily tell it's not gonna handle it so and uh, video editing was like kind of mobile video editing it wasn't like full fledged that we are used to so these both thing combined uh, kind of like you know almost made it a you know a niche product and on top of that if that wasn't enough they got a lot of competition from laptops that learned from tablets and added touchscreen and some tried some interesting gimmicks where they had the screen fold 180 degree uh, to make it a tablet and then you had something that twisted like laptops started to become the craze again and the uh, the core reason why all of this actually compounded was because of this simply phones were getting bigger so if you went from uh, in the early days like that's iphone 3 the original iphone 3g and the next one is iphone x as you can see the size difference is gigantic so at the launch of uh, the smartphone era three to five inch was like you know holy crap now every one of us has like six inch or even seven inch phones now going from seven inch to ten inch is not that big of a deal and if you went to like let's say 12 inch 
display then it becomes cumbersome so suffice to say with phablets with two in one and like you know uh, all the fact that you know they don't actually have actual performance and actual usability it almost you know try uh, faded out permanently however there is a hope on horizon for all of you tablet lovers out there now the king, uh, like you know the black horse in this race is microsoft the reason why i'm saying that is the reason tablet failed is basically it was a mobile that was scaled up now what microsoft did they took a dex uh, desktop or you can say a laptop and shrinked it so they went from the other way around so this gives you a actual computer as you can see it even has full size port full size usb port this is priceless for anybody who's doing actual work on it you don't want to have like you know multiple uh, other things like oh I i'm gonna convert my video file into another format that format is read by the app not full-fledged application but the app and then you're gonna do editing you can do such things but this is the reason why it wasn't uh, catching on and microsoft removed the whole uh, barrier to the entry and you have to understand microsoft is the biggest pc environment there is like so if they can shrink the operating system all they had to do is just add a touch screen layer and at the they came late to the party but that gave them a very core advantage given the fact that pc hardware was now becoming power efficient and small enough that can be packed into a tablet without requiring them to like you know redesign the windows architecture so this is their you know ace up their sleeve so however to uh, current time they still have two main limiting factors first they are idiotically expensive second they are low performing however i am faithful that they can fix this problem so in future uh, you can expect to see windows uh, tablets uh, now you have to understand android tablets are in very bad position because while apple has a closed ecosystem so they do have the advantage they can ask their programmers to like you know just port and code their stuff into like you know the ios side basically the operating system the leopard and cheetah operating system so full-fledged application can be ported to the tablet environment android has no such thing so they only have the app environment so this is uh, why i'm saying apple and android while of course they're gonna sell like you know you're gonna have your lightweight device like amazon fire and things of that nature but it won't be the next big thing however this does have the potential to do so so this was my presentation i hope you guys liked it or learned from it in that case please subscribe or press the bell icon and as always thanks for watching